welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing the best cmd tricks that every windows user must know cmd the command prompt yes the black screen with the blinking text i know it might seem little scary but trust me mastering a few key command can unlock a whole new level of control over your pc so without any delay let's quickly get started now in order to bring up the command prompt from your desktop you have to click on your windows search type cmd or command prompt now right click on the command prompt and click run as admin so that you should have all the permission to run all kind of command so the very first command that i have here is the ping command that is a very useful command in order to ping any kind of network adapter any kind of website to find out and troubleshoot many kind of problem for example let's say that you have any kind of wi-fi problem you are not able to connect to your wi-fi or the wi-fi adapter is missing so to assure that the problem is with the hardware or the software what you can do you can type a simple command that is ping space and now type the ip address of your network adapter that is 127.0.1 and now if you hit the enter key and if you get the reply from this ip address that mean there is no problem with the hardware and there is some problem with the software only or i can say from the windows only but in case if you don't get a reply from this ip address that means that there is some problem with your hardware and you will have to go ahead and fix or replace it okay so now next what you can do with the ping command you can ping any kind of website so many times you are connected to the wi-fi but you are not able to use the internet so in order to find out that whether you have the connectivity between the website between the internet and your device or not so you can ping any kind of website for example if i want to ping uh, google so i have to type ping space and then simply type www.google.com and now if i hit the enter key so you can see i'm getting the reply from this ip address that belongs to google.com and that clearly mean and indicate that I have the internet connectivity and that is the reason I would I was able to connect to the google.com server. Now next there is amazing use of ping command as well like you can ping any kind of DNS server address to find out that which DNS address will be perfect for you. So now if you watch my videos you might have seen that I ping many kind of DNS server address to find out that where I am getting the lower ping. So let's say there are two popular uh, DNS server address that is Google and the Cloudflare okay so if you want to change your DNS server address and you are confused that which DNS server address you have to go with like Google or Cloudflare then what you can do you can ping both the DNS server address I will type ping space for Google I have to type 8.8.8 .8 and now if I hit the enter key so it will ping the Google DNS server address and it will let me know that what kind of ping I'm getting so here I'm getting the average ping of 34 ms so what I can do I can also ping Cloudflare so I will type ping 1.1.1 .1 .1, that is the Cloudflare DNS address and now if I hit the enter key so you can see I'm getting the 11 ms ping from the Cloudflare that is far better than the Google so now my doubt is clear that for me the Cloudflare DNS address is better than the Google so this is a very useful command that is ping and every windows user must know about it and now the next command is another amazing command that will be helping you to discover or install update or remove any kind of software from your computer so let's say if you want to install any kind of antivirus and you're not sure how to install it or what kind of software you should install it then what you can do you can type a simple command that is winget space search space and then you have to type the category name of that software so let's see if i'm looking for the entire virus so i will type entire virus and hit the enter key so now it will be loading up and list me all kind of available free entire virus program that i can go ahead and download it so you can see we have ours free entire virus avg entire virus then we have the web root is it not and then we have the ransom snare malware byte now whichever you want to install what you have to do you simply need to copy the id number of that software 
So select the ID number, press Ctrl C to copy it. Now again come to the command prompt and type another command that is winget space and now instead of search type install and give a space and paste the ID number. Now if you hit the enter key, so you will find that it has started downloading and very quickly it will be starting the installation of the entire virus program on my computer and you will not have to do anything it will automatically download the application for you similarly if you want to remove any kind of application then you have to type the same command winget give a space and instead of install you have to type remove and then you have to type the id number of that particular application or program that you want to remove it all right so this is a very useful command and in the same way instead of entire virus you can install any kind of software that is available on the internet okay now the next command is very useful for the people who are very concerned about their privacy and the security and many of you might be thinking of hiding any kind of folder without using any kind of application or tool for example let's say on my file explorer in the document section i create a folder over here by the name uh, test and now let's say that i want to hide this folder so hiding this folder will be hiding everything that is inside this folder okay so this can be on any location it can be on your desktop it can be in the download it can be in the pictures or wherever it has been located you can easily hide it so what you have to do just bring up that particular location and then you have to click on the address box at the top now type cmd hit the enter key so now this will bring up the command prompt in the document only where you have your folder okay so in order to hide this folder there is a very simple command that you have to type that is att rib space plus h space plus s space plus r again give a space and then type the name of the folder that you want to hide so on my end it's test so i will type test and now if i hit the enter key so you will find if i refresh it and again go to the document so the folder has been hidden now so simply by just typing this small command you can hide any kind of file or folder from your windows 10 and 11. now you might have a question that how to bring back this folder so what you have to do instead of plus you have to replace the plus sign with the minus sign so i will replace it and rest everything will be the same and again if you hit the enter key so you can see that it bring up the test folder again right so this is the best and the easiest way to hide or unhide any kind of folder from your computer without using any kind of application or software and now the next command that i would like to share with you is related to the power consumption so again you have to bring up the command prompt and here you have to type cd space c colon now see here is the drive where my windows has been installed then put the back forward slash windows back forward slash and then type system32 and hit the enter key so now this will take us to the system32 of our windows folder and here you have to type the simple command power cfg forward slash then type energy now hit the enter key and it says enabling tracing for 60 second observing system behavior so now this may take some time okay only for just like one minute or few second to generate the report so you will have to wait until the command is completed and once it will be completed it says analyze complete energy efficiency problem were found and it will let you know that what kind of error you have what kind of warning you have what kind of informational uh, information you have so in order to get the more detail what you can do you can copy this address select it press ctrl c to copy it and now you can bring up your browser or your file explorer paste in the address box and hit the enter key and now here you can see the power efficiency diagnostic report it will let you know your computer name the scan time the scan duration the bios date the bios version and then it will let you know the error information that what kind of error uh, is being generated on your computer now you can look into it and fix many kind of battery and the power errors that you have on your computer this command can be more useful for the people who are using the laptop and they can fix many kind of problem 
Similarly, if you scroll down, you will find the warning. You can read them. Now, if you need a detailed video on this command, then you can let me know because it will take a long time to explain. Okay, so now our last command is another very useful command that is the disk partition. So once you're in the command prompt, you have to type disk part, hit the enter key. And now this will take you to the disk partition where you can run multiple commands related to your disk. Okay, so for example, if you want to know that how many disks are connected to your computer, so type list space disk, hit the enter key. You can see that around four disks have been connected, disk 0, 1, 2, 3. And it will let you know what kind of size it contained, what kind of the free space. So if you have any kind of issues or if you want to do anything with any kind of disk, then you will have to select that disk first. So let's say I have a problem with this disk that contains 57 gigabytes. So I will type select disk, give a space and then type the number. So it's number three. So I will type three. And now this disk will be selected. So if you want to perform any kind of a command like if you want to clean this drive you want to uh, format it you want to assign a new drive letter then you can type that command i will share all these commands in the description and even i will share a link in the description where you can find all the useful command that you can run using the disk partition all right guys so these are the best and the most useful command that many of you might not be knowing about it and it's a very useful command and you should remember it and you should know it that when exactly and how exactly you have to use it so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye